Do you combat the decline of the city by the bay? Create an ad to deny the town's disgusting decay. Frisco leaders just launched a glitzy $6 million ad campaign to boost tourism ahead of the summer travel season. Although residents say that money could have been better spent on one public toilet. The beautiful new ad takes you on a joyous tour of their city. Meanwhile, the television crew had to keep yelling cut when another crew member got stabbed. <laughs> but you got dancing in the streets, sleek bars with sexy women drinking martinis, and visions of perfectly seared scallops doused in light cream sauce. At least I hope that's cream sauce. <laughs> yeah, I know, disgusting. But the beauty of the video, it's not scratch and sniff or you'd be retching. But also, it's not true. It's all much better with sound, so watch. Welcome to the most beautiful city in the world, where it's never the same, but always San Francisco. San Francisco, I'm coming home again, never to roam again. I come, San Francisco, I don't need Frisco. Wow, I saw some white people in there. Mm. What's going on? Anyway, so rather than solve the problems of rampant crime, homelessness, and violence, they figure a PR campaign might do the trick. This is a case where they literally are trying to paint a turd. <laughs> Visitor numbers are still way down compared to pre-pandemic levels. It's so bad, even COVID cleared out because it didn't feel safe there. So from our perspective, this is less a commercial and more an unintentional comedy skit featuring propaganda as believable as the view doing a show on how to please your man. <laughs> but it doesn't really capture the spirit of San Fran, so we fixed it for them. Welcome to the home of urban decay by the bay. But what some call blight is actually all right. San Francisco, this place is covered in poo, but it's free poo you can use to fertilize your garden. San Francisco, there's needles all around. They're great for sewing or learning acupuncture. San Francisco, you get robbed every day, but you'll come to learn you don't need money anyway. San Francisco, plenty of homeless camps, but don't despair, they get fresh air, and nature is cool. Hey! <laughs> yeah. I want to go. I want to go. Liz, do you think that <laughs> PR video is going to help? No. It should have come with a travel advisory warning. <laughs> it's like, bring your, bring your dis disinfected. Come to San Francisco. <laughs> like, what were they thinking? And how many millions do they blow on that? Six right? million. I mean, it's unbelievable. And then, you know, we, I'm telling you, I have friends, I have, I have family live in the Bay Area. They're astounded at how rapidly it turned into a retail desert. Yeah. I mean, you're talking major stores like Nordstrom, Saks, you know, Office Depot, Banana Republic, Old Navy fleeing and leaving. And it, it is in a state of decay and collapse. And, you know, it, it's, it's such an object lesson. It takes so long to turn these stories around. Mm -hmm. It takes it like a switch. You can turn a city overnight into it's you know, a, a wasteland. How fragile. And it, it's fragile. And then it takes a hell of a long time to bring it back. It's so funny, Banana Republic leaving a Banana Republic. Tyrus, <laughs> I was thinking... We should do a road trip. What if we did all five shows in San Francisco for a week? Oh, I'd get COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Kat would get pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I'm, I'm actually nine months pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I and couldn't find the right time to tell you guys. <laughs> It's just came Was up it? so quick, but I'm going to be out for three months. <laughs> and I think the father's COVID, so you can have that <laughs> like six months. The first COVID baby's coming, so. Uh, yeah, I really can't top that. Um, <laughs> the best part about the commercial is it never allows you to actually focus on what they're showing you. It's all shot from drones, and it's like, huh, 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 huh. <laughs> San Francisco, check it out. Yes, you're if never they, street stuff, level. Never. You're either up or below, or the side, and you can never see anything around them. Look. That's, you're so right. It's just like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh. And what that means is every time they film, somebody who was not paid to be on set strolled through. Yeah. So that's, so don't fall for that. Like, Damn. that's literally, yeah. And it's probably 
San Diego, California, that they're doing this in. <laughs> it does look like San Diego. So, yeah, I would be real careful. Like, if you're going to go to the new Afghanistan, <laughs> look at the new Afghanistan before, like, realize what it's going to be. Kat, it is true. They're selling things at every city. So you could find that anywhere. Yeah, they're like, we have scallops. <laughs> 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 Except also, our scallops are $300. <laughs> like, San Francisco is also heckin' expensive. Yeah. So that's the, that's a, it's the combination of all the stuff everyone's already brought up and the fact that it will cost a lot more to do, have your conference there than it would to have it in a normal place without all the poop. Mm -hmm. Which I think is important to a lot of people. It is. Yeah. It is. Uh, Guy, you told me in the green room that poop in San Francisco is unlike that of any other major city. <laughs> Care to elaborate? <laughs> I think it speaks for itself, Craig. <laughs> uh, and in fairness, like, yes, they did a lot of these outdoor shots using drone cameras. It's because all of the normal cameras that they had on the street had been it's, stolen. Yes. Exactly. Right? So they had no choice. Like, put them in the sky so they can't take them. The, you know it's bad in San Francisco when they have to close a Whole Foods in a ritzy neighborhood. White rich San Franciscans love nothing more than Whole Foods, mm -hmm. but it was too dangerous to operate. They opened it and closed it about a year later. So there was like a 911 call every day. That is a sad state of affairs, and they're trying to figure out how to sort of skirt around that with this little flashy, glitzy ad campaign, which is going to be juxtaposed with news stories coming out of San Francisco, which may hold a little bit more weight with the intended audience. So do the rich just stay in one place, and that's why they don't care? It's like, how does Gavin Newsom, like, wake up in the morning and not feel like a pile of <laughs> Because he was mayor. He was mayor of San Francisco. He's the governor of, of California. He's never there. Do they just deliberately ignore these areas? Yes. He may not, he may not yes. feel like a pilot, but he accidentally stepped in one <laughs> yes. uh, when he left his house. But the thing is, he is in a cloistered place surrounded by armed security, so he's fine. Almost everyone else is not so fine. Yeah. And you've got to bring in fresh victims. Yeah. <laughs> Ergo the commercial. Yes, that's true. That's but don't worry, guys. I'm going to fix it. Yeah. How? We're going to bring new people in for them to rob them. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And as Kat said, scallops. Scallops. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <Good> deal. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.